Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Olivia from Taishan Tea Club. We used to have videos about different tea cups. I know some of you might be interested in Jianzhan. This unique tea cup is not only tea well, but also an art form and a part of history. There is a lot of information about Jianzhan, and we plan to have a series of Jianzhan videos, including what is Jianzhan, the making process of Jianzhan different patterns and shapes of Jianzhan, and last but not least, the benefit of it and how to pick one. Today's video will get you looking to Jianzhan tea cup. What is it and how to make it? Okay, let's get into today's video. Jianzhan is mainly a small bowl with a small bottom and large mouth, shaped like a funnel, produced in the Jianyang Kiln in Fujian province and therefore called Jianzhan. It is first created and filed in the period of Tang and the Five Dynasties, then flourished in the two Song Dynasties, and was imperial tivo of the Song Dynasty. And in Song Dynasty, more and more ordinary people begin to drink tea. Dian Cha is the most popular way to have tea. The tea was finely ground, then saved out with a tool. People put the tea powder into a boiling hot jianjian, then added a little water to make a paste. After that, they added boiling water while using a bamboo whisk to blend out an even and delicate broth. People really appreciate the beautiful white rose in the black porcelain jianjian. And this is why majority of jianjian tea cups are dark color. And also, people have traditions of dou cha, which means tea fight, such as competing in the quality of tea and making tea latte art. And now the Japanese matcha was originated from traditional dian cha. Buddhist priest Ashai introduced dian cha, which he brought back from China. And then Japanese people developed their tea drinking ceremony by integrating their own aesthetic taste. So this is why Japanese style of tea ceremony is so similar to the drinking style of Song Dynasty. And besides that, Jianzha is called Tenmoku in Japan, which is from the name of the mountain. And this mountain is where they started when they visited China. Jianzha was a representative of black porcelain and one of the eight most famous porcelains of the Song Dynasty. However, after the end of the Song Dynasty and the beginning of the Yuan Dynasty, the heyday of Jianzha was stopped and the craft was lost more than 700 years. Around 50 years ago, after several years of research and experiment by experts from the Central Academy of Arts and Crafts and other institutions, the ancient craft of Jianzhan, which has been lost for hundreds of years, was successfully fired. At modern times, it is still hard to find Jianzhan, and the Jianzhan firing process involves 13 steps, including selecting clay, crushing clay, washing, batching, aging, kneading clay, shaping, modification, firing the unglazed jianjian, blending glaze, glazing, loading the kiln, and firing. Making jianjian requires special clay and glaze. The clay used to make jianjian is selected from the original mineral soil near the site of the Song Dynasty kiln. The 
because of its high iron content, which gives Jianzhan an iron body quality after firing. So the first point I want to mention is the glaze preparation. The raw mineral glaze stone used in the Jiankyun during Song Dynasty is chosen as the basic raw material. Then craftsmen mix it with local red clay and the grasswood ash. As you can see, different from other porcelain products, Jianzhan is half glazed. The craftsmen designed a bottom line to control the coverage of glaze. To fire a good Jianzhan, the success rate is very low. Sometimes firing a cute full of defective products are possible. It can be said that one in a thousand, more perfect to be one in a million. So to make a fine and beautiful Jianzhan, not only requires a good grasp of every aspect of the process, but control of temperature is also extremely important. So be kind to the Jianzhan you're holding your hands, for these are the heart and the soul of an artist. So I've talked about a lot about Jianzhan, but it's just a beginning. We will introduce different patterns and shapes of Jianzhan next week. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye.